Wow. What what a weird week it's been in wrestling news. I cannot believe the stories that have came out. I really hope they're true. I've grown to be really skeptical with dirt sheets, but if these are true, I'm going to be so gassed. CM Punk could be slowly but surely making his return to WWE. If you watched his StarCast interview, you would have seen that he said he's open to talks with WWE. And since then, many reports have came out about him possibly hosting the WWE backstage show on FS1 with the new SmackDown Guild coming in, which is kind of mad. But oh wait, it gets even madder. Because apparently, he had an audition where he was on camera doing some test presenting, some test shots, etc, etc. This feels really real. This is surreal. If he actually had an audition with them. But wait, because it gets even more madder, because Dave Meltzer is reporting that apparently his audition went really well and it's most likely he's gonna get an offer. Oh. My. God. Is CM Punk returning to WWE? Listen, I thought if CM Punk was to return to wrestling, it would be to AEW to help support this, you know, new company and help, you know, work with its indie friends and stuff. But obviously, Cody and AEW now say they feel like dumbasses by CM Punk. Maybe it's because they were dumbasses about trying to sign CM Punk, you know, offering him contracts through text. Like, come on. But yeah, the belief is that his tryout went really well for this FS1 show. And he's going to be getting an offer for this show that premieres on November 5th. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, I hope it's true. There's a part of me that feels like it isn't just because I've grown to be so skeptical of wrestling dirt sheets. Uh, I think one thing that does need to be noted, however, is that he'd be working for Fox and not WWE. But that is still big because he's working like directly with WWE. You know, he's working alongside them. He's not with them, obviously. He's working alongside them. Uh, and many people have their way back in, you know, Ultimate Warrior, he had an awful relationship with WWE, then he got added to the video game, and that helped him work his way back into WWE. Same with Goldberg, uh, Sting also did it, obviously he wasn't returning, but it helped him in his debut and stuff. This could be a good opportunity for CM Punk to possibly make his return. I mean, the guy is 40 now, and he does have some ring rust based on that video that was released during StarCast of him in the ring. But regardless, the fans never lost their love for CM Punk. You know, five years later and they still chant his name. They still love him. They still want him back. And I have no doubt in my mind that if he did come back, you know, if his music hit, it would be probably the biggest pop in WWE history, I think. Like, genuinely. I like, just imagine number 13 in the Royal Rumble, Cult of Personality plays. Oh my god, the the hype, the hype. And there's so many new faces in WWE that he can face, you know? The likes of AJ Styles wasn't there when he debuted, Nakamura wasn't there, Finn Balor. There's so many possible matches that he could have and it's, oh, it's so exciting. I mean, obviously it's not guaranteed, but just the thought of it and the hype surrounding it is mad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of fantasy booking. We're gonna cut to a bit of fantasy booking because I do love some fantasy booking. We're going to fantasy book CM Punk returning to the WWE, so stay tuned for that, lads. And anyway, I'll see you for that bit, because my camera's about to die. So yeah, oops, kicked a bag. See you in, a sec see you in, see you in just a second, right, I can't speak. Alright guys, Adam Blompier from What Culture here with some fantasy booking. No, I'm just kidding, but I'm going to fantasy book CM Punk returning to WWE real quick, because I think there's just a really easy idea that you could go with. Obviously, this show is starting in November. So what you can do when he signs in November is you can have him train for a couple of months. Give him some time to wax off his ring rust and get back into ring shape. And in fact, his contract will most likely be signed before the show actually starts. Probably if he's getting an offer around now, then he'll be signed now. I'm speaking in hypothetical terms that he is going to be offered a contract by WWE, not just Fox, by WWE. So just note that. And what I want him to do is return at number 30 in the Royal Rumble. Simple. Like, it's just a really easy way to have him return. Get a huge pop, make it one of the biggest... It probably would be the biggest pop in history. Like, one of the loudest. And also one of the greatest Royal Rumble moments in history. By having him return to the Royal Rumble, if you sign him in September, that's four months to train, you know, which is plenty of time 
for him to get back into ring shape, get back to ring rust. He's already in good shape because of his UFC stuff, and he's still in great condition. Just get him back in the ring, running the ropes, getting his moves up, and getting back into a wrestling style. So yeah, I'd have him return at the Royal Rumble as an official wrestler. Of course, he'd be presenting the Fox show and stuff while this is all happening. And he would return at the Royal Rumble at number 30. And he would win. Yeah, he would go on to win the Royal Rumble. And he would get to main event WrestleMania. Yes, his match would main event WrestleMania. I mean, it's what CM Punk always wanted. And if he's going to return, give him that. Give him that last hurrah. Let him have what he always wanted. Let him have what he... He always deserved, because let's face it, this man deserved to main event WrestleMania. And I think it's very uh, very obvious, but well, actually it's not very obvious who his opponent is going to be, but I'd have it be Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is presumably going to win the WWE Championship from Kofi Kingston, and CM Punk and Brock Lesnar had that amazing match in 2013. And Brock Lesnar, when he's against the right opponent, he can have a damn good match. We've seen it with AJ Styles, we've seen it with Daniel Bryan, with Finn Balor, and Brock can wrestle. So yeah, I'd have Brock Lesnar win the title from Kofi Kingston on the first episode of S SmackDown on Fox. And CM Punk is obviously going to be on SmackDown because Fox will want the big stars. And he's presenting for Fox. But once he returns, I'd remove him from that presenter role. And or just slowly transition him out of it. So yeah, Punk's going to win the Royal Rumble. And before... WrestleMania, there's two pay-per-views. You have the Elimination Chamber, you have Fastlane, so there's many opponents you could have CM Punk face at those pay-per-views, but I think I know the two I'd want him to face. I think, first of all, AJ Styles, because AJ Styles is a heel, and have him face Punk at the Elimination Chamber. Presumably, AJ Styles would have lost the US title, um, and so just make it so that it's like a, just a normal one-on-one -on -one match. Neither of them are in the chamber. CM Punk is facing AJ Styles because that would be a mad match you know two guys that came from the indies they never faced each other in WWE and it'd just be a crazy good match and next just for nostalgia's sake at Fastlane since Fastlane is a little like a B pay-per-view and there's such a small gap between Elimination Chamber and Wrestlemania between Fastlane there's not much time to build up to matches at Fastlane so I'll just have him have a quick match with Jeff Hardy for old time's sake you know their feud back in 2009 was was a banger of a feud, such a great feud, and they had some amazing matches, and let them two go at it, let CM Punk get the win, it's not going to hurt Jeff Hardy to lose that match, and I think CM Punk, that would be a really awesome match for him to have for all time's sake, yeah, that'd be so sick, right? And then obviously we get to WrestleMania, him versus Brock Lesnar in the main event, Brock Lesnar wins, no, just kidding, CM Punk wins, of course CM Punk wins. CM Punk gets his moment in the main event of WrestleMania, finally, as WWE Champion. And then from there, he can feud with Kofi, for one. They were former tag team partners. That works. Uh, Finn Balor, again, these two never faced in WWE before. And I'll have his big SummerSlam match be against Daniel Bryan, because I think that just makes a lot of sense. You know, they had some amazing matches when they were feuding with each other, and Daniel Bryan, after CM Punk left, became one of WWE's biggest stars. I think I would ultimately have Punk lose it to Aleister Black, because I think Black could get a big win over Punk, Punk could put over Black, and from there, maybe Punk starts working on a part-time basis because of his age, or just continues for a bit longer and in the main event scene. But yeah, that's just how I would fantasy book CM Punk returning to WWE. Let me know what you think of it, how you would change it, so to summarize, Punk signs now, trains into the Royal Rumble in the Performance Center, enters at number 30 in the Royal Rumble, wins it, defeats AJ Styles at Elimination Chamber, defeats Jeff Hardy at Fastlane, goes on to defeat Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. From there, feuds with Kofi, um, who did I say, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens I didn't say, but I could say him now, uh, and ultimately lose it to Alistair Black, but also feud with Daniel Bryan. His big SummerSlam match would be against Daniel Bryan. Uh, and yeah, he'd ultimately lose the title to Alistair Black, because Alistair Black's amazing. And yeah, that's a too long didn't read version of it. So yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack the like button. I have a really big announcement to make, guys. And that's that John Cena followed me on Twitter. I'm so mind blown that he followed me on Twitter. I thought I'd just flex that real quick, because it's kind of, kind of insane 
But yeah, I'm rambling. Follow me on Twitter at Top Ten Wrestling. My Instagram is at I'm Tom Bell. Subscribe to my second channel, Ten TV, linked in the description. Hit like on the video and subscribe with notifications on. Goodbye and keep on rolling.